Wow, it's great to have that workout finished, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so glad that's over. Well, tell, tell you what, I'm used to doing a lot more volume than that. Are you used to, are you used to workouts like that? Not that low volume, it's pretty rare. You know, I'm really impressed with that exercise we're doing. What was it, the triangular, true loop a doo doop a doop bifolar functional, stand on your nose, scratch your head, um, single leg squat? Yeah. Well, they used to call it a single leg squat, but I guess... Yeah. Well, I mean, not now, because when we're in the deep bottom bend position, we've got to twist, check the time, twist back and stand up, so it becomes rotational, and it really interacts with different lateral aris muscle fibres in the leg, and my quads now are just blasted. Well, that's right. I think, you know, the fact that it's not just a sagittal movement anymore, it's in the transverse and diameter plane as well, that's really important. Yeah, definitely. And it just smashes you. I mean, I'm exhausted. I've never... Never trained like that before. It's just, it's amazing training with you. You know, imagine if we hadn't gone to that seminar and learnt that technique. I mean, we wouldn't have known. I mean, oh, I couldn't imagine that. This, this, this way of doing the single leg squat is just, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just, it's just, I just can't believe how great that the seminar coach was. Oh, I know the whole series that seminar that went on the single leg squat and single leg no no don't call it a single leg squat oh, sorry sorry I'm, I'm thinking sorry my fault i'm thinking back. you're in the stone age get with it sorry well that next thing you'll do is do some old age word like bulgarian squat or something like i couldn't talk to you if you used old words like that i know it's nearly like swearing oh it's it's blasphemous you've got to say what did i say it was the single leg right angle right here root medical work with work with a scratch your nose squat that's it yeah and uh, its initials are R H I S, what's it looks like? Right up your ass, or something like that. Anyway. <laughs> well, that was a great training session. Yeah, so what's the next seminar you're going to go to? Oh, the next seminar I'm going to, there's this American coming out to Australia. Oh, wow. Has he got an American accent? Yep, he does. Wow. And he's been out of college for a full two years. Two years' experience. He works at college level. Wow. And he's a human performance specialist. Wow. And he's coming and touring all the major cities. Wow. And I'm going to it. I'm front and centre at that seminar. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, geez, I better get along to that one. I mean, you know, he's travelling over the sea too. Yeah. Well, that enhances their knowledge. Yeah, well, he's got an accent. He's got an accent and he travels over the sea. Yeah. I tell you what, those Americans know everything, don't they? Uh, especially, like, he's done two, two years' experience in the collegiate system. Wow. So you've got these athletes that are there anyway, they don't pay him any extra money, and he's only got a certain amount of time with them in one area of physical quality, yet he knows what he's doing. He's a human performance specialist. It's amazing how he's been able to just blast past all that, that challenge in training an athlete and just... That's all this knowledge. That sounds like he's bulletproof. Yeah, he is. I'm really wanting to know something from my knees. Why? Oh, just because that single leg rotational hip transformation, fulcrum transversus dominus phase. It's um, you know, I, I used to I used to do a lot of stretching and static stretching. And oh no no no, you can't do that. No, but I stopped and now my knees. Oh, phew, because like, you never know. You got to injure yourself if you keep stretching. I know, well, I'm a bit sore now, so I really want to hear what he's got to say because I. I really need to, you know, bulletproof my joints. Well, you've done that workout twice now. It's probably time you got new information. Yeah, well, I know. I've got to keep moving. New information. Every two weeks. Something different. Every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. No foundations. Yeah, is that what you do? Yeah, yeah. Every two weeks. Every two I, weeks. I change it every two weeks. Whatever is, I, I go to the web and I see which article has the most hits. And then I go to the blogs and, and I just participate and I get all my wisdoms that way. Is that right? Yep. Every two weeks. And, you know, you can't do an exercise if it's still called something it was two years ago. You've got to change. It's like creatine. You've just got to change the name of it and change the weight. Yeah, that yeah, way. that's right. And you can't take creatine by itself. You've got to mix it with other stuff or it's just not good enough anymore. Oh, it's the same with training now, isn't it? That's it. That's why I can't get any clients. Because I'm oh. using all these old names. Oh, no, no. I made that mistake too. I used to call things like Bulgarian squat and things like that. I mean, forget about the history, just make up a name. Well, you don't have to make up a name because that bloke made up the name, remember? Yeah, he did, that was, that was really good. He was, was really that, good. You know, it's been 10 years, what was it 20 years, since it was called the Bulgarian Squat. So, it, you know, it is time for a new name. Yeah, you, just about that bloke, do you reckon he's ever trained? I mean, really Oh, well, look at his like physique, that. he might have once. Yeah, he might have been in the gym once. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, yeah, well, you know, to his, to his credit, I mean, I think I saw him lift up a dumbbell once. But the important thing is, you've got to change new names. No, oh, no, don't make things up. Steal, steal, steal. steal. Yeah, just steal. steal. Yeah, steal. yeah, I'm just thinking that, you know, I used to think it mattered how much 
training I'd done, the experiences I had. But now I'm just really learning is how much you know. Oh, no. Do you Twitter? Yeah, I Twitter. Oh, that's important. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the next seminar you're going to go to? Oh, that, that American bloke that's coming. Like oh, of course, of course. That sounds bulletproof. 